so today I'll give uh, my review about my also AS200 first let's have a walk around of this bike uh, there isn't much space here so and pardon the cat if you hear him so um let me tell you first what are the reasons i chose this bike it is because um when i was buying a bike i was looking going through a lot of reviews i was going through a lot of bikes KTM was there, the Bullet was there, the 220F was there um, but I found something unique about this bike and uh, I'll tell you what did I find so when I went to buy this bike um, the NS200 and the RS200 and the 220F were on sale also so why I chose this bike was because um, I found out that the Bajaj company has taken has taken something out of these three bikes and just put it in one bike, one single bike. I'll show you what I'm talking about. The Pulsar 220F. Uh, it has its unique look because of the semi fairing and the semi fairing since 2007, I think, have become quite popular in India. The semi fairing bike, the semi fared bikes are. Uh, you know they have a craze in India so um, it has the semi fairing as you can see it has the semi fairing of the 220 uh, then as you can see here there's a projector so the RS the racing sport has two projectors so I think they put one projector here and talking about the NS200 what did they take from the NS is I think the entire frame of the bike so if you remove the semi fairing you adjust the headlight a little bit so it it's basically an NS 200 okay and the, the one thing they did to make it unique to have uh, to make it have its own identity is put the windshield None of these, none of those three bikes have the windshield as big as these this bike. So this helps the semi fairing and the windshield helps in high speed a lot when you're riding. Uh, it's been one year since I have had this bike, and uh, I have made some of the changes which uh, I didn't like previously the st in the stock version. So uh, first was this uh, Euro grip tires. It was very the they, they didn't have too much of the grip, so I replaced them with the the front one is the uh, Michelin Sporty, and here we have the Pilot's radials, Street Pilot radials. This is one size larger than the stock. So it provides excellent grip. I'll soon upgrade it by Rosso's, the Pirelli Rosso's, and I think I'll have much more better grip. But now it's doing fine. Its wet grip is good. Uh, next, uh, all right. I'll show you this. Uh, the bulbs. I've changed the bulbs in there. The ones inside are the. Philips Racing Vision 150% I ordered it on eBay for $30 there are two bulbs so uh, I have a review of them I have tested them I have road tested them and the link will be in the description if you want to see uh, how bright they are what's the luminance they are pretty good they are halogen basically uh, the reason I didn't go for white light is because um, I previously had an XED and um, 135 and I put white light in there the Chinese version I think not the Philips one and uh, what happened is when it's it started raining when it was the rainy season I couldn't see the roads the light I think the light didn't reflect back or something like that but roads were not visible overall it looked good from the front but when it comes to the visibility part I think the halogens are good and these are pretty bright halogens 
so um, next is uh, in here there is KNN filters iridium spark plugs uh, today I got the bike serviced so apart from those two I uh, changed everything even the visor is new it had few scratches so um, unfortunately the AS200 and 150 have been discontinued and I don't know if it's karma or not but um, my previous bike the XAD 135 was also discontinued but uh, I think they'll come back with an AS um, you see it has a positive side of you know they, they still service the bike it's not that they deny it or something but uh, the positive side it is it becomes uh, unique it becomes rare you rarely see this bike on the street you'll see the 150 version I think but not the 200 version, version that much because um, I think you'll see more of the 220s the bullet classic 350 the KTM Duke 200 this you'll see more but the AS200 um, that will rarely come inside so mm, it looks good mm, handling wise the ride quality is good I have been to Bangalore I have been to Gulbarga on this bike from Nasik and um, the ride quality is pretty good you don't get tired The this is the upright position and as you can see the seats are very much spacious they are not small seats even the pillion seat is very big as you can see I'll put my hand for comparison so so it's comfortable uh, I have put the netting on the seat so it doesn't get hot and doesn't get wet in rainy season or doesn't get hot in summer season it's because you know in summer season what happens to your seat you you cannot sit directly on it so it doesn't get hot nobody can you know take a knife and rip it so um, and I put my helmet this way because I don't have to carry my helmet then I do wear it when I ride the bike but whenever I park the bike and go to some place I'll just put my helmet this way so I don't have to carry it around it doesn't become a burden so um, I think this is it uh, there will be few vibrations if there will be few vibrations but that's just uh, some loose nut or something like that also I have done this I have you might not see this in the AS um, this is for climbing I have this was straight I have welded it like this so it's good for climbing my whenever my mom uh, sits you know she uses that as a support because the current NS which is the 2017 version they already have uh, the leg support attached right here somewhere they were big leg support previously they didn't have it so I've done that also the engine is good it's pretty refined um, it runs well on highways uh, the mileage you get is good uh, I got 42 on the highways if you ride slowly that all depends on how you ride the bike I even tried changing these the first idea was to change my bulb with the domino bulb because the domino bulb was uh, you know pretty bright for me and the DRLs ain't that bright in the daytime they are good they are really good but uh, they are not as bright as dominoes so my idea was to change the bulb of these DRLs with uh, the dominoes then I got to know it's the entire LED setup in the domino so we can't do that so I decided to you know keep this stock and change this into the racing vision Philips racing vision uh, it's not sold in India so you have to order, order it from eBay uh, so like $30 piece that's I think 1900 1900 yeah I don't know just make the calculations um, and yeah the final thing I got this today so like every vehicle has a 
Ganesh ji on them. Every car comes with a standard Ganesh ji idol fitting on them. So I have my own Ganesh ji now on my bike. So that was it. It's a pretty good bike. Those who already have the AS 200 or the 150, do not uh, feel demotivated that it got discontinued. It's not a bad bike. Um, it's a really good bike. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll be posting more of these videos. Also, I'll be starting a new body workout series. So, have a nice day. Bye.